What up, it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels with Ashley Thiner. How are you doing, Ashley? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Nick? I'm doing great. Ashley has a big matchup coming up. 209 beatdown for January 6th against Trissa Strait. This will be your first MMA match, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, you have a background in Muay Thai, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've trained at my... My gym is predominantly Muay Thai, so we're three kings Muay Thai, and that's what I've been training for the last couple of years, but it's been pretty off and on uh, while I was in school. Now that I'm out of school, I have more of an ability to focus on this because I, I love to fight, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting into the cage and seeing what I'm made of. How, how many Muay Thai fights did you have? I have seven Muay Thai fights. Okay, and did, do you have any other combat experience, or strictly Muay Thai? No, it's it's all Muay Thai for the most part. I just recently started a little bit of grappling. Um, we're we're mainly a Muay Thai gym, and then with my interest in MMA, Sean has my coach Sean has decided to start gearing our gym a little bit more towards MMA. So he's brought in a, a grappler here and there, and we've been able to roll around. But most of my experience is in striking. What made you focus more on MMA? Well, yeah, get outside of a Muay Thai. Well, I think in Muay Thai, you're limited to your eight limbs, you know, knees and elbows, hands and feet. And I, I wanted to... Everybody kept telling me that grappling is a different type of cardio. It's a different type of sport. And I really wanted to see how I could measure up in that sense because I really feel like the cage is going to introduce a different aspect and a different challenge that I'm not used to. And I'm excited to take that on. I know a lot of work goes into to pre preparing to get uh, your first matchup. Have you done any special training leading up to this? Um, like I said, Sean will bring in some grapplers that he knows here and there, and they have helped me learn a little bit of groundwork that I wasn't well-versed in before. But uh, this it's been a process. We, Like I said, we mostly focus on striking. That's where I'm comfortable. But it's it's been new, you know, bringing people into the gym. We're trying to get a jiu-jitsu coach in the gym soon somebody who's going to stay but we don't we don't have anybody yet who has stuck around you mentioned that uh you finished school that was college yeah yeah i finished college i have a bachelor's in animal science uh may of 2017 was my graduation date and that was rough those six years of my life but i'm really excited to be done with that as well wow congratulations so from Thank college you. to fighting <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bunch of animal animal stuff out on the farm, and, and now I get to apply my, my grit and my toughness elsewhere. I talked to a fighter one time, and, and uh, he debuted, and I, th I think he got a knockout in like 20 seconds. And on his debut, what? And he was kind of disappointed in that, because he worked so hard to get in there and perform and show what he learned. How would you feel if that happened to you? Well, I feel like a knockout is totally exemplary of what you've learned. People don't aren't able to knock other people out unless they've been training for a heck of a long time. They don't have the placement on their punches or their kicks. And, uh, and I think it's indicative of his work that he got that knockout. So I would be thrilled. Okay. You had several uh, Muay Thai fights. Do you think the nerves are going to be eliminated from this fight? I don't think that nerves will ever be eliminated for me from any fight. I still get butterflies every time. But I think that nervousness can contribute sometimes to your performance if you know how to channel it. And uh, this is Trisha's first fight as well. Do you think uh, not knowing much about her helps out? No. You know, I would rather feel comfortable knowing who my opponent is, what they do, you know, where they've been, even what they eat for breakfast sometimes. Uh, I think that the more information I, I get in regards to an opponent, 
the more comfortable I feel when I'm face to face with that opponent. So I think the more information, the better on that aspect. So have you gathered any intel on, on uh, Trisha's trick? Uh, not yet. We've been trying. I've been trying to see find her on Instagram and Facebook, you know, the usual <laughs> media things. But uh, with Christmas coming up, we've just been a, a little bit busy just trying to smash in as much time training as possible. I'm not big on social media, so I don't spend a lot of time on it, but I'm I have no doubt that in the next week or two that that's all I'll be doing is trying to figure out who she is and what she does. So you mentioned the holidays coming up. Is Having the fight right after, is that kind of like, kind of uh, put a damper in your holidays? I think it gives me more to look forward to uh, in regards to my holidays. I think it's a good way to start out the year, honestly. Um you know, I'm not cutting a lot of weight for this fight. 125 is about what I walk around at, you know, between 125 and 130. So I can still eat all the things that I need to for the holidays. I just, I can't go crazy. And I, I don't drink much anyway. So it's, I think I'll be fine. So if everything goes great on the January 6th, when do you think you'll be back into the cage? Um, you know, within the next two months is my hope. Uh, I really want to start fighting a lot more MMA. I haven't fought, most of my fights were, you know, years ago because of my, I had an ACL injury that I just got repaired last year. So I haven't been in the game for a long time and I, I'm looking forward to getting back into it. And I think changing gears into MMA is going to reinvigorate my excitement about the sport. So let's say you're at 100% before your injury. What are you at today? You know, I after training on my knee and everything, I feel almost no pain. Whoever did my surgery did a great job. Uh, I think every once in a while, if I train really, really hard for a lot of hours in a day, you know, I'll have some residual pain, but everything hurts at that point. It's not just my knee. So I don't feel a difference, honestly, and or I don't remember a difference, one of the two. And I don't think it's going to be a factor in regards to hindrance. Okay. Yeah, more or less. I would like to think so. All right, you mentioned that you're not very big on social media. Where can the fans connect with you? Well, I do try to keep them updated on social media for my fights. So that's the only stuff that I really post about. Um, I go by AJ Tie Fighter on my both my Snapchat and my Instagram. And so that, that you can follow me without a request. You can go on and check out my stuff. Uh, Facebook is where I will post some of my fights, but only my friends can see them. So if somebody messages me or requests me and, and I, they're like, hey, you know, I really want to follow your fights. It's Ashley Steiner, my full name. You'll look me up. You'll find me immediately. There's only one or two name, people named Ashley Steiner. So they can find me on there. And that's where I put a lot of my content. I've got an interview or two on there. And then I've got a fight or two on there. Um, from back in the day, so they could find they could find it on all of those venues. I'm just not as good at it as I like to be. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully this will help sh spread the word and get get you out there. Yeah, you know I appreciate the uh, opportunity for doing this interview, and I'm looking forward to what it, opportunities it brings to me. Yeah, I, I appreciate you taking your time to, to speak with me. 209 beatdown for January 6th. Ashley Thiner taking on Teresa Strait, Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. I can't wait. This is the first female fight at 209 beatdown. All right. Well, I'm excited as well. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it well. We're starting off 2018 right. Thank you, Ashley. I, I agree. All right. See you later.